Hello everyone. I don't usually fall asleep when watching movie, but Tom Cruise the Mummy almost put me under twice. This misguided attempt on rebooting the Mummy's franchise was not only lacking the charm from Brendan Fraser's classic, it's also an abomination made by poorly stitched subplots like Frankenstein Monster. On paper, it didn't sound so bad. Make the Dark Universe consists of classic monsters and characters. It has been done before. In fact, the original Dark Universe was the first shared universe among Hollywood movies. Penny Dreadful the TV series had a good run, using vampires, Frankenstein, and many more, so the idea was appealing. As the first entry of the franchise, The Mummy had a decent cast. Tom Cruise and Russell Crowe were already household names. Sofia Butella as the titular mummy had experience on action movies, Ian Kingsman, and she brought enigmatic charm to the movie. However, the glaring mistake of the mummy was trying to establish franchise that was not the mummy. It added Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde along with his secret organization, which took a third of the runtime. There's also God and Ghost as the mummy produced random power out of her butt. The logic was flimsy at best, as it just string together familiar scenes or tropes in hope that audience would show any kind of reaction. But let's rewind a bit from the beginning, which was perhaps the most basic opening in recent years. I would expect it began like Indiana Jones or the 1999 Mummy, but it turned out so dry and lackluster. Something supernatural was unearthed in Middle East, and the main characters must investigate it. The way the movie portrayed this was so stiff. Some scenes were nearly identical to other movies. It might as well copy screenplay from X-Men Apocalypse or Batman vs Superman, both of which were not that great in the first place. We then had small chase scene while the movie tried to create some sort of relationship on screen. Individually, the actor wasn't bad. Tom Cruise had been making yearly box office, and even at its worst, he had decent chemistry with the cast. But here he looked constantly confused. Fortunately, the next scene was his favorite, the jumping off an airplane. Perhaps the best scene that came out of this sample of a movie, and Tom Cruise had been dragging other people into jumping off plane as a hobby. It played around with the perspective and gravity. It did look good and engaging while it lasted. The only one parachute gimmick was kind of a use, but that's far from being a major issue at this point. After this, we were treated with confusing ghost apparition and sketchy explanation of the mummy's power. The movie's atmosphere turned into nighttime. Honestly, this is where a lot of horror or action movies stumble. The CGI and camera work in darkness usually make for less than stellar spectacle, and the mummy wasn't any different. It relied heavily on these zombie creatures to boost the action. Granted, the classic mummy did this as well, but it dragged on for far too long and not nearly as interesting. It went on until Russell Crowe entered the movie, and again it shifted the tone. It became a modern secret society, not unlike Kingsman, which also starred Sofia Butella. Up until this point, the script felt like it were meant for multiple movies and just slapped together in the last minute. It introduced a new IP in all the wrong way. Even if audience recognized a certain character, the presentation was already jumbled. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde felt like something that could have been done in a flashback or another movie entirely. But here it tried to shoehorn another conflict into the mix, which didn't add much to the character or overall story, aside from blatantly setting up Dark Universe. After this quite lengthy side quest, the movie needed to wrap up its already fragmented story, so back to the mummy. There were a few moments straight from the classic mummy films. The sandstorm was a neat trick back in the days, but it might not add well in modern time. The mummy herself sometimes fought in melee combat, even if she was depicted with magical power earlier. Tom Cruise and Sofia Butella had success with action movies, so they probably just wanted to add this fight scene somewhere. It became a mess. There's no clarity or consistency, but the story needed to resolve one way or the other. 
it eventually concluded with typical plot convenience, as though the character have strong relationship. It felt forced, especially when the characters were barely developed at all, aside from being attractive male and female in the same screen. Still, movie logic prevailed, and all was well. Some plot holes remain, but I doubt anyone cared that much at this point. I was honestly expecting more, a decent experience at least. Tom Cruise had such impressive resume these last few years, and this one would be a dark spot. He would later make more Mission Impossible movies and more plane stunts. The Mummy was never going to offer more than the classic. It was at a time when CGI was at early stage. Brandon Fraser, Rachel Weisz, and the other cast were just the right ensemble. It would be extremely hard to replicate the magic. Even as mindless action blockbuster, this mummy was too contrived on its plot, and the need to establish the universe superseded the fun it could have had. It would be rightfully buried until the next reboot attempt. We'll see in 15 years. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and comment. Consider subscribing and share with your friends. I make three videos every week. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.